Welcome guys, we're going to go through the process of installing Linux Mint 20.3 Una on Windows 11 using VirtualBox. Welcome guys, we're going to install Linux into a VirtualBox. So you've installed Oracle VirtualBox on the website, which is on the page or in the description and we run that when you click new and then we give it a name and then the scores for compatibility I'm, I'm going to leave it in a default drive folder but that can be changed memory size okay we're going to go for the recommended is about two and the minimum is one so we're going to go for a bit more give it four and then you want to leave it at the virtual hard disk and then create that so that's already picked a name for us it's set to 10 that is the minimal but, and because it's dynamically allocated we can potentially take that up to 20 because it won't use all the space straight away but if you find you end up needing it in the future it can grow up to 20 this can also potentially be changed in the future so we create that and then we just need to make a couple of more adjustments now we're going to click take off the floppy disk and then move that up move that up and then processor now out of my i've got eight it says 16 here this is quite weird uh i've actually got eight core which will be there in the green remember to keep everything you can in the green i'm going to put that to two okay our thing is the video memory got 16 meg and it's a bit low so i'm going to go all the way over and give it 256 so it's going to be nicely flowing and responsive remember if you've got 16 gig 8 gig graphics memory then this video memory is small in comparisons so select the maximum there also we can change the graphics controller i'm going to go to vbox svga it's uh, handles changing the resolution okay so normally we used to have cd-rom drives where that would be listed and that's where we would have our ISO unpacked or just stored. Uh, USB sticks is generally an, another one. But now we have the, the ISO file that you would have downloaded via the description in the page. This is the 20.3, the UNO. Open that. That's now added and we're ready to go so now we can click start you can maximize the screen there i can change this later start linux mint uh my iso file is actually on my usb stick if i put it on the drive I believe it would have uh, booted a lot quicker there. Now the view you got off, you got full screen scale mode is what we'll go for. Switch, and as you can see now, we've got a nice size window. So there we have it. We've got the Linux Mint. It doesn't look quite the best resolution, but we want to install it. So this is like the live version. We want to install it. So we click on install Linux Mint. 
Choose your language. Continue. You can type in the box and it will find the keyboard for you. And then select Install Multimedia Codex. Continue. You're going to choose Erase Disk and Install Linux Mint. That will go onto the virtual file and create that as a drive. It will not erase anything on your hard drive. So we can click Install Now. Let's continue. Region. You can type in here and change that, or you can click elsewhere for your region. You want a name? I sometimes go with admin, but I'm going to go with that. Now, password this is for making it secure. You can actually choose to, to do it without password and log in automatically etc there we go it's copying the files i'll let that carry on and i'll come back so the files there they're installing this is going to take a few minutes so i'll pause the video and i'll come back as you can see you can actually run a virtual box inside linux so you could actually install Linux on another computer, run VirtualBox, and install Windows. So it's done it, and we can restart. Now when it restarts, it's probably going to try and load, as it says here, the installation media. Now, previously it never gave this message, but luckily it does now. And what it's also done is actually removed it from within the settings. So literally, you can now just press enter. Enter the password and log in. We can close that. You can always run it again. If you're new to Linux, you may want to leave this up and let it come up again. But generally, I will find stuff as I need it. So I'm going to close that. So now that the Linux is installed, the next thing I want to do is check that it's up to date. This is the update manager. It will now search. You can switch to local mirror. So I'll choose yes, and it's going to let me have a list of servers I can come from so we've got American I'm you can choose somewhere that's near to you that's where I've got my ISO file so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to leave this as the second one there some of you might want to have the other way around which is quite understandable click OK now it's updating the cache and it will show if there's any updates I'll show you there's a few updates there. So install the updates. Click OK. And password again. Now the manual way to do this, update your system, is this command. If you want to just check that everything's there. about halfway through I'll pause the video and come back so the updates they do request a reboot and then we can run that close that and to do a reboot click on the power and restart Control F, that's the right hand control F. Once you're in full screen, 
and get his little menu down the bottom here where you can reset the machine or shut down or even pause it you can come out of this mode either doing control C or control F again do control F again and that will come out full screen but you can switch with these So there we go. And that is how to install Linux Mint 20.3 on a virtual box in Windows 11.